iPhone 13, iPhone 13. Yes, I got the new iPhone 13 Pro Max, like any other YouTuber out there. And yes, I'm sure all of you have watched over 20,000 different videos about the iPhone 13 on YouTube. Well, then this is gonna be the video number 20,001. Anyways, in today's video, I'm gonna be analyzing only the video capabilities of this phone. Since they have this new mode called the cinematic mode that everyone is talking about and everyone is so hyped about, I decided to compare the cinematic mode with, yes, you're right, a cinema camera. And what do you think is gonna happen? Do you think the iPhone's gonna perform better than a $10,000 cinema camera? Mm -mm. Well, in today's video, we're gonna actually test it out and maybe you get surprised. So yesterday, I took the iPhone 13 Pro Max and I went to the park with my Canon C300 Mark II. Now, my goal with this video was to get the same shots and also be able to compare them. And in order to do that, I decided to invite a professional of the industry. My friend Liam Higgins, who's a super talented cinematographer here in Toronto, is gonna come here in my house and I'm gonna have all the footage ready. We're gonna watch it on TV and he's gonna have to guess whether it was shot on my C300 Mark II or it was shot on an iPhone 13. So what do you think is gonna happen? Do you think Liam, who's a professional cinematographer, will be able to guess if it was shot on this phone or not? Well, let's see. The man himself, Mr. Liam. What's up, man? What's up, man? How, How are you doing? Look at this, look at this. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at that. Look at my hair. What's up, guys? So, welcome to Cinematic Mo, guys. It's very interesting looking. It's like, oh, you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> look, already, he knows already. Like, what's I can already the, tell right what's away. What's the point of doing this? Well, guys, this is Liam, a good friend of mine here in Toronto, an amazing, magnificent oh, DP. I'm gonna put some of his work so you can you guys can see. But uh yeah, I call Liam. I want him to see the difference between this device and my cinema camera. But yeah, I just want an input of someone like him. He is gonna have to be brutally honest. Well, I will be, I 100% Yeah, yeah, be. I hope you're brutally honest. Like, I don't want you to like, this is not sponsored by Apple. Like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I have, to, I have to confirm there's no plug, guys. No, no plug whatsoever. whatsoever. Okay, let's go. All right, let's do it. Dude, sick dolly shot, bro. Oh yeah, wow, it's tracking me. <laughs> Before we start, let me ask you, what do you think is gonna happen? So I think the one thing that I think is the main thing with, especially since I believe you said something about when you record the footage, you can uh, select your focus point after the fact. Yes, you can. So, so I think because of that, um, I think the, the focus roll off is gonna be really noticeable. At the same time though, I kind of want to go into it a little bit unbiased, which is why I didn't like try anything with the phone before this because I was like, okay, maybe I'm gonna learn something new about it that I didn't expect. Totally. Before. What I did is when I when I was editing this uh, in order to show you, I realized that the color was completely different, right? Basically, I tried a little bit because I didn't have much time to match this guy as much as I could. To Choose this. that, okay, okay. More or less, trying to keep it similar. Right. Okay, let's start. Um, I'm gonna show you A, I'm gonna show you then B, and then A and B together. Okay, cool. Okay. All right. Got my uh, thinky cap on here. Okay, let's start. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. So this is A. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Ah, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I started with the easiest ones. Okay, for sure. Um, so I would say, I mean, for me, again, like the thing I brought up earlier about the highlight roll off thing with the focus as well, it's B is clearly the iPhone, right? Totally. A is clearly the C200 or C300, my apologies. Uh, I mean, purely because it's like the one thing that kind of, you know, you compare one against the other, it's like dynamic range is so much more present on A, 
versus B. And then obviously you have like a certain like mechanical kind of look to the B image where it's very like, yeah. you know, it's like there isn't like a ton of detail in the shadows. Like there isn't a ton of detail in the highlights where it's like over here, it's like you're getting this beautiful sort of natural color and gradient in the background with the focus. And then a lot more like simple detail on the sweater versus like how yeah. like uh, almost like chroma key it feels in a way, right? Okay, let's keep going. Ooh. Okay. This, I feel like this is a little bit more challenging in a way, maybe. I don't know. Okay, okay. So far. Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, so B is obviously the iPhone. Okay. And uh, I think, may, I mean, for this one, I think w for good sake of comparison, like again, look at the detail you get in the grass from the A camera, as well as how clean that focus shift is, right? Yeah. Like the thing is, is that you can obviously tell when the way the, sh the the focus shifts in camera B, it so, has this sort of like touch and go kind of feel to it versus like the smooth rack with camera A. So the, actually the thing what I did is because the camera has autofocus, mm -hmm. I was using the autofocus. Oh, smart. Okay, so trying it's Trying like, to like make it a little bit more hard for you even though... Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, hard. I would even argue too that the, uh, that the, the focus tracking on A is so smooth versus okay. like the mechanical yeah. nature of B, yeah. right? And also like the, the detail of the grass is also really... Big yeah, it looks like design. very contrasty. You can see on the right side. Yeah. It's just like, and I mean, there's a lot more detail here too, right? Where it's like you can tell a lot of the highlight areas that are retained in camera A are very blown out in B, right? It's like totally. very the green comes off almost yellow in some areas, where it's like in A, it's very clearly like a very nice green color. It's really cool though. Mm. Ooh. Okay. Versus. Okay, so again, I think it's pretty obvious. Um, oh, wait a minute! Wait a minute. <laughs> All right, let me wait. Let me wait for the back to back. Okay, so no, I got it. I got it. A is the iPhone, and B is the C three hundred. Yes. Okay. Yes. So here's the thing. I would argue that there's very subtle differences here. I think as somebody who owned the C two hundred, I have a general. I feel like I have a pretty general eye for the way. Um, blown out highlights with shallow depth of focus look like on C300. So I feel like the Canon color space, like that's such a primal way of like, sort of like slightly muddy highlights in a way, like with the with the out of focus areas, like the green is kind of fading into. I think you can see a line on the iPhone one where it's just sharp and then out of focus. Exactly, that too, right? Like there's a very clearly yeah. defined line, that has right? like the, the Exactly. Okay, well, that was, you got that one too. <laughs> I feel like they, I feel like that's a good choice of shot, like very static, like very detailed, like you know, it may be difficult for somebody else who maybe doesn't have like a yeah, no, like that totally. the eye to be able to point that out. It's very Terrence Malick, <laughs> very Terrence Malick. <laughs> yeah, we're like <laughs> yeah, you're just canted angles, like <laughs> oh my goodness, <laughs> oh I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I think B is the iPhone. No, All right. <laughs> Um, the one thing that actually kind of surprised me about this, aside from the, if you look at the grade comparison, there's actually like more detail in the sky on the iPhone. That's what I was surprised. And that's because of the HDR mode. Oh, I see. Okay, that makes sense. So then. I have to say that that doesn't mean I didn't have detail shooting with the C300 because I had the clouds, mm -hmm. but you have to do a more intense color correction in order to, to get them mm -hmm. versus that one. It just came out literally like that. Which, okay, so that's that the, that's the thing that's kind of interesting here, because if you actually compare, I mean, this also could be part of the cinematic mode, I don't know, but it also could just be like the way the focus feels, but like, I feel like I'm actually gaining a lot more color detail in the highlights in the iPhone yeah. versus there, yeah. where it's like, obviously it's more of like a, a nice color, but I'm actually seeing a lot more in that image, where it still feels like there's a lot of separation, yeah. obviously not as much as the C300, obviously, but like, there's still a decent amount of separation. I think moving into later models of this iPhone, if they're able to get a hold on the focus mode and the cinematic mode, yeah. I think there's a there's not no, not necessarily a better sake of comparison in comparison to the C300, but I think it's like there's better capabilities of what it'll be able to do because obviously right now it feels very like Instagram filter esque. That's interesting. Okay, I feel like I'm being. I feel like I have to like try really hard now. Ooh. Okay. 
I feel like this is where I get exposed. But that's okay. That's okay. Like, okay. listen, I I purposely tried to like make some of the shots so a little bit. I'm gonna say that I'm gonna say that A is the iPhone and B is the C300. I have to double check. Oh no! <laughs> damn. Um, and. B is the iPhone. Really? Yeah. Oh, damn. Okay, okay. The back of the shoe was kind of what threw me off because it looked like that that focus was too dramatic, right? Okay. So, but like where it's there, it's a lot cleaner, right? So that's why I was kind of like, okay, like maybe this is where I get throw uh, throw for a loop. But it's also like I was thinking about HDR mode again, right? Because and then I think the yeah, green, yeah, it's like yeah. it's a little bit more of that detail where this is more of like like organic looking in comparison, right? Okay, all right, we got one wrong. <laughs> we got one wrong. Apple right now is like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, we got them. Oh, they get so. Oh, I will be honest though. I do appreciate how how closely you're trying to replicate the image to the other one. Like, yeah. cause it's like, I can see that yeah. you're like, the thing is, is like, it's still very obvious to me which one is the iPhone nah, and which one's the C300, yeah. but I can tell you're trying really hard to get it there. And it's like, yeah. you're doing a pretty good job. No, honestly. I think like, honestly, I think the goal of this video, it won't be really for us to spot which one is yeah. which, but to talk more about like, the comparison. Exactly. Way. Yeah, exactly. This comparison. Oh, wow. It's pretty hard already. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. That's pretty, <laughs> that's pretty noticeable as well. Yeah, so that's obviously the oh, C300. Okay, again, two A's, no. I feel like now I'm picking up on like certain things the C300 offers that the iPhone doesn't, which is like, or maybe even a standard cinema camera would offer that a uh, iPhone doesn't. Like the character in the bouquet, for instance, and uh, the clean roll off of the, the highlights and the yeah. focus and the detail, right? Cause that's clearly like, it's just a flat image back there rather yeah. than like, small pockets of highlights having bokeh or like small totally. shadows having bokeh, things like that, right? Where like it's the like, edge of the ball, it's just glowing. It's just glowing, exactly, yeah. right? Okay, so I feel like this one is a little bit more obvious, specifically because cinema cameras have very distinct flare character, yeah. right? So yeah. that's this one, I, I placed it here so we could talk about the actual lens flare. Cause yes, so, and I mean also the softness too. Like the softness, this is obviously the C300 yeah. because I mean, you're looking at the softness and the detail of her skin, like the, again, like the focus roll off and the consistency of like the way the flare feels and how it comes in. It doesn't feel like it's so much of an additive as much as it's a natural yeah. refraction of light. You know what I mean? So it's like, Obviously like the lens on an iPhone will have certain flare characteristics, but in mm. the flare characteristics of the iPhone, it's clearly more digital manufactured rather than this natural sort of sense of like lens refraction in a way, totally. a standard cinema. Lens. I have a feeling that these two shots, a lot of people would not be able to Yeah, know. I feel like to the naked eye, there's like yeah. even this, like the, again, the halo is pretty harsh and like this, exactly, right? Like it's like you're almost getting a double flare. It's 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 yeah. It's like a it's like an interesting weird double flare that we have here. But I think a lot of people that I maybe they don't do that for a living, they would for love sure. this kind of flare. Be like, yo, this is professional. Really cool. This yes. Like, like for an iPhone, this is an incredibly impressive image. That was a great shot. Like I could just put that in one of my videos, and and no one would know. Like if I mixed, well, I would know. No. <laughs> Hey, 135. Yeah. My, second, my second home. 135. Okay, yeah, it's very obvious. It is very obviously now. Like, this is obviously the C300. Yeah. Right. Because, I mean, again, it's like the detail, it's like the saturation of the image, it's, it's a lot of different things, right? So it's, but it's, again, it's fair to say that this isn't an unimpressive image, right? Like it's yeah. still a great image. It's just not a cinema level quality image. I have a feeling that people that they might be looking at this video, they'll be like, they look both really good. They do. That's, you I mean, know? that's the thing that's interesting to me is because when I'm looking at it, I'm not, it's very obvious which one is each. The truth is we're both constantly looking for the, edges, the minute details, or the little exactly. details. But if I play you this quick and fast, and maybe I should have done like a quicker, like, so you don't really have time to look for to the really edges. To really look for the details, exactly, right? But yeah, this, it's for me, it's again, it's in the bouquet. It's, yeah. it's, in the, it's in the areas that are very clearly like full of certain information, right? And 
particularly with like the highlights on this, the, the smoothness and the sharpness is it's very much night and day where it's like, it's a very clear, sharp, raw, and I believe you shot this on the 24 to 70 as well, right? I mean, yeah. yeah right, so it's everything like, we shot on the 24 to 70. 2.8? Well, yeah, I was, I was matching whatever depth of field I was using on this. Okay, so wait, so you can actually clock the depth of field on it? Yeah. No way. This is where it's interesting now because like, yeah. you can, you might through changing the f-stop be able to dial out that halo effect. Totally. Right? And so that's, that's, one, where that's also one thing that I was, I learned yesterday while shooting is that instead of shooting everything at 2.8, it was too obvious. I started shooting more at like f4, f5. I was gonna say a little bit so, of R&D on that, you might be able to find yeah. a sweet spot where it's less noticeable. Exactly, so some of the shots here, they're not shot at 2.8, they were shot at like, like four, four five, five, six. Yeah, exactly, right? Because, I mean, you still see it, but less. But it's like for sake of comparison though, right? Totally. Like, that's yeah. pretty interesting actually. Okay, we're getting towards the end. Okay. <laughs> that means it's getting dark. Um, I wanted to test also a little bit low light, low light capabilities and, and night mode. So I have a few examples. Night mode. Okay. Okay. So we're seeing some banding in the lights and we're seeing some like movement distortion of some sort. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to say, I'm going to say that's the iPhone just based on the fact that there's there's absolutely no color distinction in these areas, right? Totally. And I think the one thing that actually also is a really good point is that A shows this banding where normally you're not gonna pick up things like banding on iPhones, right? Because it's yeah. it's sort of a correction for that, right? Where it's like, that's, that's a question of shutter angle, that's a question of, you know what I mean, the amount of light being let in, where it's like with this, it's like you get this like hue of just, yeah. of purple. Yeah, no, look at that, like literally all this purple everywhere. It's kind of a like, look though. It is. It's I mean, that was look, the F1 like, right there, just like filming whatever it got. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, like it's obviously much different than what a cinematic camera would offer, but it's, it's all, you look, you also look very like European style, <laughs> like ready to go to a rave. Like that's your whole vibe. Right I was now. gonna go up and then rave. But, but, but. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's, but it's interesting though, because I think, I mean, like, yeah, like the way the color like invades on the skin tones oh, a bit, it's at, really messy. Yeah, look at the but, shadows. Like, the shadows are very um, like blue. It looks like you basically took like a, a curve hue and like cranked the blue tone or something like that. And I did right? nothing to that. And that just came out as it. I just saw the stairs and I was like, oh, we should get a show here because this is just like. It's like an interesting and it mess very, of color. In it was a way. very, very low light, like. Yeah, I mean, you can tell. But again, like it's the detail that makes it so much more noticeable. Yeah. And we're going to the last one. Last one. Oof. Oof. That green. What happened there? I don't know what that green is. Well, maybe again, put, playing it on the screen, the, the notice of yeah. like, how much you've noticed the green. Ooh, but I... <laughs> Okay, this is impressive. That, I think B is the iPhone. Yeah. B yeah, is, so B is the iPhone, but this is, a, this is actually a good. Like, I would, here's the one thing that I would actually say this is the most impressive part I've seen so far, because it's like. You were trying to push for detail in the, in the shadows there, or the highlights in this case, because yeah. of the, the sky being the most technically brighter than the shadow area, right? But with the light, it obviously creates some- Yeah, it had that different. street light, one street light on top right yes, here. Yes, exactly. But like, obviously like- You know what? Like I'm actually have genuinely look at, impressed how good the iPhone looks in this scenario. I think the CD100, it gets sharper detail, even it though does. there's green. Exactly. And here I was cranking the ISO, mm -hmm. and then when we switch into the iPhone, it kind of naturally exposes for this space in a way. Like it's pretty clearly distinguishedly like an iPhone image. Yeah. But it's also it's also like look how well it handles low light. Like really in terms good. of the sharpness, it like does. in terms of the like the detail, and like the sky is not doing any like yeah. super sharp like a uh, super sharp spike in grain or anything like that I think in also the affected area. What gives it away a lot to me also is the fact that I think that the iPhone has some sort of like noise reduction. Yes, noise reduction. That's what I was gonna say. Like, like software situation working in there and you can see. It's like an AI sort of generated. It looks like thing. a painting almost. Exactly. Like, right? It's very like soft and slightly muddy to reduce the exactly. shot, to reduce the grain. Yeah. Um, and that's very noticeable where it's like the grain is ever present in the first one where it's like, it's exactly. more realistic to what it would be shooting at night if you weren't shooting in the most ideal scenario, especially since you're shooting on like 2.8, yeah, right? I know. Usually you wanna be like 1.4 at that late cut totally. an hour. Okay, Liam, I'm your teacher here and you got a <laughs> one mistake and that's Liam. 9.5 out of 10, not bad.
pretty happy with myself. Okay, no, good, good. Even though we are very conscious of like comparing a cinema camera to an iPhone, it doesn't take away from the fact that the iPhone's image is still impressive. And very I think impressive. for people who are making vlog content, YouTube content, anything like this, any it's internet, a, social media content, and stuff that's, totally. you know, where they're not aiming to have that cinema level quality of content, but something where they can like post uh, like influencer work or, or things like that, I think it's a good tool. But I, but I think what's also a great thing that this tool provides as well is for people who are looking to get into filming, this could be the thing that kickstarts your career that interests you for more further items like Ooh, cinema cameras. Big words like, right there. No, but it's, it's very true though, right? Okay. Only with the fact of being able to play with aperture and a little bit of exposure mm -hmm. and the cinematic mode, I think like a lot of people, they're like, okay, what is this f-stop thing? You know what I mean? And it's, they will start learning start and like being like, oh, wow. Mm -hmm. So totally, new filmmakers, buy this phone. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this was fun, man. And are you gonna buy the iPhone 15? No, I got the iPhone 12, so I think I'm gonna stick Oh, because you just got it? Yeah, yeah, I just uh, got this like maybe a month and a half ago, two months ago. So I think I'm set with this one for the next little while. Okay, Apple, I'm sorry. Liam is not getting an iPhone 13. But, but I already own your product, so it's fine. <laughs> so. Okay, man. All right. So my final thoughts on the new iPhone 13 Pro Max are a little bit mixed. This new iPhone has clearly pros and cons. Let's start with the cons. For me as a filmmaker, I would not really use these as a tool of work. So when it comes to video, there hasn't been a big improvement compared to the 12. So if you have the iPhone 12, you can just stay with it. The difference is not that huge. My other con regarding this particular iPhone is that it's huge. Like, why would you want to carry something so big? So my pick is the Mini 100%. So now let's talk about the pros. I get excited to think about one day we will be able to have a sensor of a cinema camera in a phone like this. Honestly, that I'm really excited about. I just think we're not there yet, but I think Apple is going to keep getting better and better. And at some point, the sensor of the phones, they might be pretty similar, if not the same as cinema cameras. And the last thing is, I think this is a great phone to replace your point and shoot little camera. Like the quality is so good that it's just fantastic to be able to like pull out your phone from your pocket and execute such high quality photos. And if you watch my last video that I talk about the importance of capturing your life, actually this thing is just perfect to capture your life. And that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this little comparison I had with Liam. I think Liam had a lot of like good points and valid points, especially coming from someone who's like a professional cinematographer. And I hope you enjoyed guessing what was shot on what. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. It actually helps me a lot. So YouTube pushes the video so more people can see it. And if you like the content of my channel, please subscribe. I have a lot of new videos coming in. I will probably do a video talking about the photography capabilities of this iPhone because I think they're like amazing and let me know in the comment section what you think about the cinematic mode versus the cinema camera and i'll see you guys very soon honestly this phone is huge man what do you think shut up the heck you shut up you want to fight you want to fight <laughs>